Hey everybody, this is uh, Nick G for GlobalCurrencyReset.net. I uh, just wanted to just go ahead and show you guys what's been happening lately. I'm I'm surprised that the the site, which is actually less than a, less than three months old, has been getting so much traffic. Um, where we see, I'm on Lycos right now. You can go ahead and see here. You search for Global Currency Reset. It's actually bringing up the site right here, top result. GlobalCurrencyReset.net. Um, and this is the site which you guys are probably familiar with. If you're not, you need to go here. GlobalCurrencyReset.net. Just type it all one word. Um, getting a lot of visits. I mean, in just uh, this week alone, we've got over 8,400 visits. Um, each, each day we're getting a considerable amount of people to the site that are new. Um, if you search on Google, it's not in the top ranking yet. But I don't really expect that because this is such a new site. I'm still adding stuff to it. However, my YouTube channel is right there. I mean, you could see we're on you, you know, we're on Google. We search for Global Reset, and you can see there's my site right there in the YouTube listing. In fact, if you want, just go in there, click that video, and it'll open up. Well, we don't need to watch that, but um, yeah, there's my picture, and there's more videos here. If you click on that link, you'll see I have a, a multitude of other videos. One that I did the other day, which you guys should probably check out, is this one with Christine Lagarde. Um, it talks about where Christine Lagarde actually mentions the term reset. Now, a lot of people are wondering why she didn't just say global currency reset. I don't think she wanted to freak people out. So she just said reset. And um, if you watch right before she says it, um, she's actually she's looking down at her notes. So I thought that was very interesting. It happens... Um, see, see, it should happen like right here in the beginning somewhere, but yeah, essentially she just she just glances down right before she talks about the word reset. So it's a very interesting video. Um, yeah, I think this is the part right here where she glances down. You'll see her look at her notes and then she talks about reset right here. Watch. There you go. Okay, so you guys can watch that video. Um, there's other ones with like Lindsay Williams and stuff, so you guys could you know come up to your own conclusions. Make sure you subscribe. Click the button right there to subscribe. Um, I also have additional links on all the videos for a newsletter, so you can get the Global Currency Reset newsletter. Essentially, if I find anything interesting, I'll just be posting updates to that. Um, there's a PDF that you guys can download, a PDF for a book. Um, let me show you how this works. So you're going to go into my website here, and you'll see that there'll be a link to uh, open up a PDF. And let's see, the link is going to be right here. It says the Big Reset Book free download. You're going to click that link right there. See where it says Global Currency Reset Book? You'll just click it, and then uh, it'll open up a dialog box, and you can open, and you have, um, you have just the 47 pages of this PDF. Now, this is a really good book. I own this book. You can get it on Amazon. There's a link provided uh, at the end of the e-book e uh, e for that. Okay, so you guys should check that out. It's a new book I just posted. If you want to know the latest information, there's a, a breaking news button right here. So if you click Global Currency Reset, Breaking News, that'll give you the most recent up-to-date information that I can find. Um, all the articles are posted here, but it, you know, it, it's sometimes harder to navigate through that. You have to scroll down a little bit. Um, here's a duplication of all those links I was telling you about. There's also a subscription thing right here where you guys can sign up for the, uh, the newsletter. I've got some exchange rates here, so I'm sure I'm really building the site up. Um, there's a, a way to follow on uh, Google Plus, which I highly recommend you guys do. And, and all my posts are going to be right here where it says recent posts, so you guys can check these out. These are all in order from what I've posted. Um, but yeah, back to the site. So like, here's the site on uh, on start page. You know, you click start page, and you, know, you scroll down a little bit, and It'll bring up, there it is again, my YouTube channel. You, you see it right there, globalcurrencyreset.net. Now remember, the site, this is, start page is similar to Google. It's just, it's like a, you know, it's like a more private way of searching. See, enhanced by Google. Uh, let's close that up. Um, here's Yahoo, Global Currency Reset. Um, look at the top search result. It's my site. Um, here's Bing, Global Currency Reset. And again, there's the top site, my site right there. And then DuckDuckGo, I mean, some of you don't know what that is. It's just another kind of search engine. I'm not too familiar with it, but it's just another one. And then there it is again, globalcurrencyreset.net. So thank you guys for all the traffic that you're sending to the site. It's really helping it get up in the rankings. I'd really like to be top of Google um, other than just the YouTube video, but we'll see what we can do. Um, if you guys want to update 
uh, just sign up to the newsletter. There's a nice link on the site where you can click subscribe to newsletter. So you click that and there'll be some information to you to, for you to fill out. In fact, I'm going to have to open this up in a private window because I'm already logged in. And this should be able to show you the order, the uh, sign up form. Let's see. Sometimes when you're logged in, it doesn't let you do that. Oh, there it goes. Cool. So there's a nice thing for your name and email address. And don't worry, I'm not going to spam you. I'm just going to send you information about the reset. You know, there was some site out there that was charging people to let them know when the reset was going to happen. I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. I, here's what I'll do. I'll just let you guys decide for yourselves uh, if you want to be notified. If you want to sign up for this, that's fine. If you want to just bookmark this website, uh, globalcurrencyreset.net, um, that's fine. That would be perfect because then in the morning you can open it up and just check if there's anything that's happened. Uh, if, if the reset has happened, I will post on the home page. You'll see something on the home page. I promise. I'm not gonna just gonna just run to the banks and go go do an exchange. Um, I did some reviews of different dinar sites like Dinar Guru and Dinar Daddy, and um, I'm still updating this. So if you guys ever come by and you see like a page is just is it still looks like it's being developed, that's because I'm the only one working on this. I mean, this site is less than three months old, so I'm just trying to build traffic to it right now, trying to write articles. You know, if you guys have never built a website, it's not the easiest thing in the world. You really have to devote a lot of time to it. Okay, so um, I guess that's really it for the time being. Uh, what I do suggest you guys do is if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, please do it. And also make sure that you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Okay, subscribe to all those other links that I have. I have a Facebook. I've got Twitter. Um, I guess the main reason I did all these is because I know some people don't like to use Facebook. So I, I decided to do the Twitter, and now some people don't want to do Twitter, so I did a, a newsletter. Um, there's just there's just a lot of things for people who kind of want to not get their profile seen. You know, there's a lot of folks, like I was one of them, who I did not want to use Facebook. I did not want to get my name out there. But I said, you know, how are you going to reach people? It, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like you want to reach people, but you can't really stay private. So unfortunately, I had to do that. So um, there's the newsletter link, PDF link, YouTube link. Facebook link, Google+, Plus, Twitter. You guys, I'm really trying to reach out to people, and I know the best thing to do is eventually do one of these Google Hangouts. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Google Hangouts, it's just where you have a bunch of people on like a, on, on like a video chat, and everybody just kind of discusses one thing. I was considering doing that. I was considering just doing, uh, just doing recordings like this online, posting them to my YouTube channel. I haven't really decided if I want to do a podcast or not. But I'll let you guys decide. One new thing to, to mention is I just created a forum page today. Uh, today is Wednesday, March 19th, 2014. This is a brand new forum page. I literally just created it. So if you guys are interested, just this is my first forum. I haven't really done this before. But I have two, two topics. So one is just a general uh, global currency reset discussion. The other one is why has the GCR, which is global currency reset, why has that not happened already? Um, there's different dinar sites out there that will try to just get you guys to invest a lot of money in dinar and they charge you a ton of money um, and I want you to know something they're really marking up the price extra high and I don't I don't really think that's fair now I created a specific link for people here called exchange rates so if you're gonna click that on my home site look at what I did for you guys so it's got all the different currencies that you guys are interested in now I'm just gonna right click and open them all we have Vietnamese dong Iraqi dinar Indonesian rupiah, Zimbabwe dollar, and then the most important one, the central of bank. I'm sorry, the central bank of Iraq homepage. Okay, here's why this, that's the most important one. You're on the central bank of Iraq's homepage here. This is what you want to look for. Do you see what that is? That tells you what one U.S. dollar will get you. One U.S. dollar will get you 1,166 dinars to 1,164 dinars. So there's not too much of a variance in there as you guys know. So here's the thing. If someone's saying that the resets already happened, just check this site. And if, if the site hasn't changed, then here's, here's the other thing you can do. You can go to those exchange links that I just sh showed you, okay? All right, look at the Iraqi dinar on this. Okay, it says one Iraqi dinar equals 0 0.0000. 858. Eight. Now you can reverse it by clicking this. Watch what will happen. 1,164. Let's go back to Central Bank of Iraq. 1,164. Okay, so if anyone's saying that, the, that the, it's already happened, it's international, the rates are on the screens, do you guys really believe that? 
I mean, look at this. It hasn't, it hasn't changed. Now, the reason I have it showing this way is because some of these people say that the dinar is going to go from one Iraqi dinar to one U.S. dollar. Okay, if that was the case, then there, there wouldn't be all these zeros. It would be like a one point something. Oh, by the way, there's one other link I forgot to show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be exclusive to this interview. Um, we're gonna go into Central Bank of Iraq. No, I believe it's uh, Ministry of Planning. Okay. I want you to pay attention to this link I have right here. Go ahead and write that down. Copy that link. Okay. Now it'll stay up on the screen, but I'm gonna scroll down. I want you to read something. Read this real quick. What do you see there? One point one three four dollar per dinar. Okay, it says this price should be approved for three years until reappreciation. What that means is that's the rate that they're gonna they're gonna fix the dinar and dollar to until the dollar. I'm sorry, until the dinar goes up. Okay, now I'll let you guys decide that, but I mean that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, as for the other currency exchanges, I just opened from this site here, Vietnamese dong. That's on here too. Okay, some of you guys were hearing that the dinar is going to revalue and it's going to be worth 50 cents. Look, look, look at all these zeros still. Zero, 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 zero. If you do the reverse, you're going to see it's worth like 20,000. Okay, I was wrong. 21,000 um, Vietnamese dong for every dollar that you have. So this is a great site. That's why I left the links up for you guys. You can go ahead and bookmark these and just put them wherever because these are really handy links. Indonesian rupiah. Here's another important one that they've been mentioning. I don't really know why, by the way, guys. I've been to, I was in the Navy. I've been to Indonesia. I mean, I don't really, I, I cannot see their currency going up. I, I really don't. So I don't want you guys to get heavily invested in, in rupiah like you think it's going to make a whole bunch of money for you. I, I really doubt it. This doesn't make sense. Look how many zeros are in this one. Another four zeros. Okay, now here's the thing there's revaluation, and then there's the lobbying off of the zeros. Okay, they did that with uh, Zimbabwe. You guys probably heard about that. They went through the hyperinflation and they had like the $100 trillion Zimbabwe note. Well, guess what? They're not using those notes anymore. One Zimbabwe dollar is worth 0 0.002 US dollars. Now, look at what this says. Read important information about the Zimbabwe dollar. And you guys probably already know they're not using it anymore. Okay, now look what it says. The Zimbabwe dollar has been suspended indefinitely. More info. Okay, look at what this says. Inflation levels of 5 billion percent. There you go. By April 2009, the Zimbabwe dollar was suspended indefinitely. The government now uses the South African rand, the United States dollar, which I've confirmed with other people. And it says, for more information, read the BBC's Zimbabwe dollar not back soon. Okay, that link is still available. So there it is. BBC News Africa, Zimbabwe dollar, not back soon. Okay. And and by the way, I want you guys to, I want to show you something on eBay real quick. Okay. So I'm just going to type in Zimbabwe dollar. I want you to see something. Because I know these dinar gurus were telling you to buy these hundred trillion dollars. They don't use these anymore. They are not using these. They're using smaller denominations. But like I was saying earlier, they don't even use the smaller denominations because they gave up using it. See, their currency is just so worthless right now. I mean, I've got some of the new ones, but I mean, I'm not anticipating anything happening. I just bought them mainly just, just for fun. But um, I'm going to show you Zimbabwe on... And the reason I'm, I'm focusing on this is because I've heard gurus mention things such as the doll, uh, Zimbabwe dollar is going to revalue at 50 cents or 20 cents. Okay, here's what they're using right now. I'm going to show you. This is devaluation of the fourth dollar. This is on Wikipedia. You can search for this yourself, guys. I really don't want to spoon feed you, but I just want you to notice this. Look what it says. They removed 12 zeros from the currency. And then that was in February. But look at this. Even in, in April, they, the people just gave up. They said, screw this. We're not going to use it. So... If you want to see what their actual notes look like, you could just type in Zimbabwe dollar 2009. I'm going to hit in, 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 uh, images and you can see. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I've got some of this so I can prove to you guys, but let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, you see down here it says 2009. That's how you can tell you're looking at the right thing because they're not using the other notes. And by the way, these notes look, in person they almost look fake. It looks like they was, it was printed on someone's... Uh, it was printed at Staples or something. 
Um, yeah, there's just stacks of it right there. If you click images and you click uh, like, a, like a higher size like that, you can find something that's a really high quality image that you can see up close. So let me show you the old Zimbabwe notes, what they look like. Okay, these are the old Zimbabwe notes. If you scroll down here, you'll see 2008. Okay, now they have already redeemed those. So if you have one of these notes, it is worthless. Worthless. Okay. Now, the newer notes, I'm still going to say those are worthless just, be, just because they, they've already abandoned their currency, which means if you go to Zimbabwe right now, do you really think that they're going to they're gonna want to take your money? They're not. They, I mean, if you have dollars, I mean, oh my gosh, they love you. Let me tell you, coming from a Navy perspective, when I went to Indonesia and I had a dollar, it was worth so much over there. Look at this. One U.S. dollar is worth 11,000 rupiah. When I stayed in Bali, you could stay at a hotel for like 20 bucks. It was a really beautiful hotel. I don't know what it's like now. I, I'm not really planning on going back there, but I'm just telling you guys. When a country decides that they're no longer going to use the local currency, they switch to the dollar. Now, with this whole global currency reset, what might be happening is the whole purpose is to get the dollar out of the world reserve status. Now, could that happen? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's an interesting video posted on the American contractor side I want you guys to see. Okay, so here's the American contractor site, and there's a link here to the Ukrainian soldiers surrounded in Crimea. And I, I suggest you guys take a look at that video. Uh, it's, it's very important that you understand what's going on there. Um, also, I, I would really like to mention that this guy really knows what he's talking about. So uh, he has a great YouTube channel. To get to it, just um, search for American Contractor. There you go. There's his YouTube channel. And he's got some great videos you guys can check out. Um, he's got a link about the dinar there. And, yeah, I mean, that's basically it, you guys. I just wanted to kind of go over the website. I wanted to go over the currencies exchanges. Um, Central Bank of Iraq, you guys need to know that this site will be updated right away. Now, if you hear the Dinar Gurus, I, trust me, I don't listen to Tony's call. I just gave up on that. Um, I listen to Dave Schmidt sometimes. I listen to, well, actually, I listen to Dave Schmidt a lot, actually, because he just seems to make more sense. Um, but I, I would really discourage people from listening to Tony because, well, he's been under investigation. And, um, I mean, you could probably just search for it right now online if you just type in uh, Tony Renfro. MLM scam. There it is. Tony Renfro MLM scam. And if you click this, you can just see on the ripoff report. And it talks about uh, TNT Tony. And it just goes over how he used to have this site called 14 Daily Plus and he ripped off a bunch of people. I mean, you guys can do your own research. But um, it's not, this is not about let's attack Tony because, you know, he's a guru. No, it's about that. This guy, he just scammed a lot of people, and I don't know what he's trying to do now with this with this whole phone call that he does, this TNT call. I don't really trust it, but I'll let you guys come up with your own conclusion. And Everybody listening to this call, they're all adults, so you guys figure it out, okay? I'm Like I said, I'm not going to spoon feed you. I'm just going to just show you what I've been looking at. So let's see what we covered today. We went over the website. Um, we went over how you can check out the exchange rates. You got the newsletter. There's um, links on the sidebar, so you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everything, okay? Um, I suggest you guys check out all these links here because there's a lot of good information. And remember, I'm always updating this website. So if you come to a page and it looks like it's not being developed, it's usually because I do is I copy and paste it into Word, try to edit it first before I post it. So if you come to a page and it's blank, don't worry. It'll probably be filled in the next day. Okay, if there's anything I can do to help you guys, I highly recommend you contact me. Uh, through the website, you can do that um, down here at the bottom. Let me show you it's a little secret. Nobody shows you this. There's a contact us page. It should say contact me, but it says contact us. I don't know. I'm the only one doing this really. But you click that, and then there you go. Your name, and then your email, whatever it is, and then type me a message. I don't care to say hey, how's it going, and send the message. I'll get I'll get your email. Okay, that's how you can contact me. However, I do suggest you subscribe to the newsletter today, okay, because there's a lot of activity going on right now in the foreign exchange markets. Um, you look at the US dollar index, you can see what that's doing. It's, it's been kind of fluctuating, but now it's going up. Like, just look at the last five days. It's kind of interesting to see how the, how the market just went down, and now it's just shooting back up. So I don't know what's going on with that. 
But um, I'll let you guys kind of look at the news. Stay tuned for more updates. This, this is really my first video kind of going over all this stuff. But uh, I'm glad to help you guys any way I can. If you need any improvements on the site, if there's an article that you guys want me to link to, or if there's something you want me to discuss, please let me know. Thanks, everybody, very much for your time, and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.